This is Kirsty Young. Welcome to Desert Island Discs. And my castaway today is former American Secretary of Defence Donald Rumsfeld. Secretary Rumsfeld, hello. Hey, wait, hey, wait a minute. I, I thought my security people had checked this room for listening devices. They seem to have missed a pretty obvious one here. What is this? Hey, guys, how come you didn't uh, see this one here? Sorry, excuse me, Mr. Secretary. This is a microphone. I knew it. What, so so, so we're being recorded? This is a radio show, Mr. Secretary. It's- Hold on one minute. Uh, let me check this. Uh, Lou, get over here. Uh, sir. Uh, what's going on here, Lou? Uh, sir, we just want to show some radio show. On some one, so just lie on discs. Oh, so it's, so it's okay? Yeah, it's fine, sir. Uh, okay, okay. Continue, uh, Ms. Uh, Young, Kirsty Young. Sure. Mr. Secretary, you've had an amazing career over the years. What was it like to work for President George W. Bush, for example, at a time of great world upheaval? Well, Kirsty, uh, of course, uh, I knew his daddy, uh, George Bush Sr., and I remember rocking George Jr. to sleep in his cot. Oh, so you knew George W. Bush when he was a baby? No, 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 no. This was when he was president. He needed his afternoon naps or he'd get all grouchy. But what can I say? When he did what I told him, he pretty much always got things right. <laughs> Well, perhaps it's time for the first piece of music. What would you choose for your desert island? Well, this uh, tune is something I first heard down in Guantanamo Bay. It's a lovely place. And uh, those terrorists went crazy for it. I mean, literally. Now, you listen to this tune once at normal volume and you feel like you're going to tear your own head off. So (laughs) imagine what it's like at full volume, (laughs) continuously for 24 hours a day. (laughs) Okay. 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 Well, let's hear your first selection then. This is Barney the Purple Dinosaur. Yeah. The first pick, my guest, former U.S. Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld. That's me. I love you, you love me We're best friends like friends should be With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you Won't you say you love me too? And that was Barney the Purple Dinosaur on the Donald Duck label. Now, Mr. Secretary, one of the main justifications for going into Iraq was your apparent conviction that Saddam had weapons of mass destruction. Well, we knew where they were. They were in the area around Tikrit and Baghdad and east, west, south and north somewhat. Um, that doesn't actually make any sense. Well, you say that, but a wig on a horse is worth twice what you pay for. I don't... But with regards to the finding of WMD, reports that say that something hasn't happened are always very interesting to me because, as we know, there are known knowns. There are things we know we know. We also know there are known unknowns, but there are also unknown unknowns, the ones we don't know we don't know. On top of that, there are also gnomes. There are... Sorry, sorry, did you say gnomes? Sure. Ugly little guys. Beards, scrunched up faces. A lot of Taliban and Al-Qaeda and gnomes. You don't want to get the wrong side of them. And there are known gnomes, gnomes we know, and unknown gnomes, gnomes without names. And gnomes without names may be unknown. But if a gnome with a name is known, then a gnome without a name... Time for your second piece of music. Sure, well, for me, it's got to be that great patriotic anthem by Bruce Springfield, born in the USA. Again, always a favorite down Guantanamo Bayway. And if our brave boys and girls down there are going to be standing around mushing some Arab's brain, then they need to feel proud of their country as they do it. Yes, but Mr. Secretary, surely you know that born in the USA is not actually pro-America. If you listen to the lyric, it is all about someone who was opposed to the Vietnam War. What the secret rendition are you talking about? The words go, born in the USA, USA, born in the USA. Clues in the words, lady. And those words are U.S. and A. What do you got to say to that? But the lyrics clearly say... Nothing, exactly. So just shut the f*** up and play the song. You really are a complete... That was Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen, Columbia Records, 1984. 
So, your next song. Well, again, in reference to good old Gwent Animal, uh, of all the songs we used to lay on those towel heads, White America always appealed to me. You know, I'm proud to have been white all my life. And my pappy before me and his pappy before him, they were white too. You are aware that we are all descended from a small group of early humans who started out from Africa and were originally black. What? <laughs> what are you saying? My ancestors are Negroes? <laughs> oh, that is priceless, young lady. What are you going to say next? I, I suppose that the universe just appeared like that and wasn't made by a big guy, a big white guy, mind you, 5,000 years ago. Will you get a load of this, Dame Lowe? This is the <laughs> right. BBC okay. for you. Give up. Communist. But Secretary Rumsfeld, have you listened to the lyrics to the song? It's all about wanting to piss on the lawns of the White House. But I think you'll find it's kiss on the lawns of the White House. Something wrong with your hearing, girlie? No, there isn't, actually. Um, it's just coming up to happen. This is White America by Eminem. America! <laughs> we love you! White America! I could be one of your kids! White America! Ooh, Eric looks just like this! White America! Erica loves my fish! I go to TRL! Look how many hugs I get! White America! And that was White America by Eminem on the American Scum label. Now, you know, Mr Secretary, that when you go to the desert island, you have a choice of any book you like to go along with the complimentary copy of the Bible, which everyone gets. And, of course, the complete works of Shakespeare. Shake who now? What's that, another goddamn Arab? Shakespeare. William Shakespeare, the great English playwright. Playwright? No, 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 no. Plays is for faggots. Ditch the Shakespeare. Okay, if you say so. Well, what book would you want, then? Well, I'm thinking what I'd need most would be the uh, the seer manual on torch. Uh, sorry, enhanced interrogation techniques. Uh, hey, hey, give me your hand. <laughs> no, 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 give it, give it to me. D- w- it, will you like? Uh, please let go. Ow! <laughs> Chinese burn! <laughs> yeah, still got it. So, yeah, I, I figure I'd need something to help me keep on form. So I'll take the seer manual, uh, the the illustrated edition. And finally, you have the. Right to a luxury item. Oh, okay, okay. How about uh, how about a picture of Nancy Reagan? Okay, naked. Sorry, nothing. I see. Well, Secretary of Defence Donald Rumsfeld, we're about out of time. It remains only for me to thank you for appearing on Desert Island Discs. Thank you. Thank you. And hey, I got another torture enhanced interrogation technique to show you. Give me your hand again. No. Now, nah, come on. Look, I'm warning you. Now, now just give me your. Give me right. <laughs> you do that for? I didn't really... Lou, he hit me. He hit me. Oh, you grow up.